What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another box opening video. Today we're going to be opening a box of Fleer Basketball from 1995-96. Uh, this is a Series 2 box. There's five insert sets in here and you're looking for the Total O insert cards only in the retail packs. Um, so very cool set. Um, I actually have a Michael Jordan right here. Now this has the Hot Packs stamp on it. Um, so I believe... The hot packs were um, packs that were about 1 in 72 uh, packs. So I guess that's how you get one of those. Um, you also have the end-to-end -to -end -to -end inserts, which had Michael Jordan in it. Uh, it's another insert set. Um, and then you also had the scrap Stackhouse scrapbook cards, um, Tower of Power, and the Class Encounters. That hot packs are randomly inserted into the total O insert set. Odds are 1 in 72. So, very, very cool. Class encounters are 1 in 2 packs. End to end are 1 in 4. Stack house ones are 1 in 24. Tower of power 1 in 54. So, very rare. Uh, I believe there's 36 packs in here. If I'm not mistaken. Doesn't really say on here. It should, yeah. 36 packs right there so very cool box paid about 100 bucks for it uh, this is you know after the early 90s the boxes start to get kind of expensive uh, but totally worth it some really cool inserts like I said looking for the total O Jordan uh, the hot packs and end to end Jordan just to name a few so hopefully we get some good quality cards out of here looks like the packs are like green Ethan is in here, DMDDH, what's going on, Kyle, Jordan Living Legend in my box, very cool, and got two, very, very interesting, yeah, I think those were like 1 in 24 packs, something like that, um, I only hit one, actually, just trying to buy one of those Living Legend Jordan cards, they're not super expensive, I'd rather just buy the card than the box and try to hit one. Lamar's in here. Ace of Spades is in here. What's going on? Okay. Don't I don't feel anything weird going on with the cards. So hopefully we don't have any issues. Uh, Khalid Reeves. Is that supposed to be like some sort of insert? It is. So that's one of the inserts, the class encounters. They're more common, I guess. Um, oh, if you missed the baseball... Um, opening last night. I didn't even realize I had this card. I didn't see anything special about it, but on the back, one of one. So, my first one of one ever. Very insanely cool. So we are looking for also the Kevin Garnett rookie card out of here. So you can see the rookie stamp on there. Um, so we're looking for the Kevin Garnett. There's a Kim Olajuwon. That's a cool one. And I think Jordan has a card like this. Yeah, he does. Um... Who do we got here? Mark Davis. These just look really off-centered because that logo should not be down that far, I don't think. Could be wrong. Yes, yeah, the logo is like more up. I don't like where the um, where the uh, the name is with the gold. It's hard to read. Uh, what do we got? In checklist. John something. Getting a lot of rookies out of here, though. I've already gotten like four rookie cards. Check that out. Shaquille O'Neal. Very cool. That's a nice one. I like that card. 328. I had the Jordan card just like this. Uh, I believe in a PSA 10. It was worth quite a bit. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I only had an 8 or a 9. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been too long. Charlie Ward. That was a cool looking card. Nothing special there. So, interesting looking cards. Sly one. What is going on? Ooh, we got an end-to-end uh, -end insert. So we're looking for the one with red on it. That's the Jordan card. John Stockton, and that is card 19 of 20. So apparently that that's going to be tough to pull the Jordan. Jordan has a base card. I'm not sure if it's in Series 2, though. I think it might be in Series 1. Why is this pack completely different from that last pack? Like, none of the cards look like this in the last pack. Spud Webb, Ricky Pierce... Stacey Augman, Kendall Gill, Luke Longley. Yeah, none of the cards had that look to them in the last pack. That is strange. Of course, the last pack was mostly all rookie cards. Interesting. 
Heisman Trophy Ward, Charlie Ward. Interesting. We got another one of the Class Encounters, Glenn Robinson this time. So you pretty much get an insert card in every pack, it's looking like. We got Jerry Stackhouse, nice Jerry Stackhouse rookie card. Not sure on the value there, but set that in this rookie pile. We got Charles Barkley, Kim Olajuwon. We got Lawrence Moten, rookie card, Reggie Miller. See, we get these packs where it's just like all good cards. They're not insert cards or anything, but there's uh, Tracy Murray, rookie card of Tyus Edney, Mookie Blaylock, and Corey Alexander, rookie card. So yeah, cool, cool looking cards in here. It's strange how one pack was all like just regular cards. Today is in here, what's going on? Time to fly, what's up? Ooh, check out this. We got a Tower of Power, no way. We got a very rare Tower of Power, guys. I think, let me look at the box here. This was, this was a tough pull. Tower of Power, 10 Tower of Power packs, um, one in 54 packs. We got an Alonzo Morning Tower of Power, one in 54 packs, holy cow. It's not expecting that, it's got a really cool like look to it and um, surface to it so check that out tower of power card number four of ten very nice mint card not sure on the value on that one but that's a tough pull so sick and looks like we got some more rookies we got Jason Kidd Hall of Famer there Just another rookie Robert Pack Another um, rookie card, Sean Kemp, Vernon Maxwell, Joe Smith, another Stackhouse. That's not his rookie card, but it's his rookie year, right? Am I dreaming things here? Yeah, Jerry Stackhouse rookie, and then he has another card in here, apparently. So, very cool cards. I'm liking these so far. Um... Nice, nice. Did we not get an insert card in that last pack? That was strange. Seems like it's always on the tight, uh, the top. Tyus Edney rookie card. Cards are just sticking a tad bit. Uh, Harvey Grant, just a base card. Um, Sam Perkins. Very strange how we get a pack and all the cards look exactly the same. Um, very, very strange. Mookie Blaylock, Eddie Johnson, Dennis Rodman. I like that one. Check that one out. See, we're looking for the Jordan with the same look, but I don't know the card number. It might be in Series 1. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I didn't really look into it too, too much. Um, but I do know the total O cards that you can get out of here. Jordan has one, so. Carlos Rogers. Blue Edwards. We got a Damon Stoudmire rookie card. Cliff Robinson. Rookie of Ed O'Brannon. O'Bannon. It's hard to read the names because they're in foil. Gotta flash them just right. Michael Finley. Dino Raja. Hall of Famer, that's a nice one, and Jerome Allen, rookie. I don't know if we're going to get one of those hot packs because if we got one of those hard to hit cards already, who knows, uh, Clifford Rozier, Rozier, Jimmy King, rookie, Dikembe Mutombo, Jason Caffey, rookie card. From the Bulls. David Vaughn, rookie card. Carl Malone. Bryant Reeves, rookie. Kevin Garnett, rookie card. Nice. Doesn't say rookie on there, but because it's not the one that says, you know, rookie on it. But still, Kevin Garnett's rookie year right there. Very, very nice. Let's get him in the sleeve here. Garnett going into the Hall of Fame. And we got it, Damon Stoudmire. Another one that's rookie card, but doesn't say rookie. 
think I think this is rookie year. You don't remember these from '95? Hmm. And we got another end to end. It's a uh, Ewing. That's a cool one. Really cool inserts. I like the end to end ones. There's only 20 in the set, so hopefully we pull that Jordan. I would say our odds are not great, but I would say at least maybe a 25% chance of hitting it. Um, still haven't seen any Jordan cards whatsoever. Grant Long, Glenn Rice, Sean Kemp card. That's pretty cool. E.J. Armstrong. It's weird how some of the cards have a certain look and other ones have a completely different look to them. So... Very unique set, I think. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button, it says we got 17 people in here. We got a Michael Smith, class, class um, at encounters or whatever. Rookie of Bob Sira, Mitch Richmond, Kenny Smith, uh, George Oster, something. Nick Van Exel, I know him. Alvin Robertson, uh, Sherelle Ford, rookie card. Larry Johnson and Brent Berry rookie. Not too bad. We're about a fourth of the way done here. Corey Williams rookie. Oh my god, we got some hot packs, guys. We got hot pack. Holy crap, we just hit a hot pack. No way that just happened. No freaking way. One in 72 packs, we just hit the hot pack, guys. I'm getting the sleeves out here. Do apologize. First card is going to be Grant Hill. Check that out. It's got the hot pack stamp on it. Total O card. We hadn't hit any total O cards all, uh, all pack or whatever or the whole box. One of ten. So that's card one of ten. What card is Jordan? Card Jordan's card number two of ten. We got Stackhouse there. Card ten of ten. So hopefully we got a Jordan in here. I've seen a whole stack of these here. Hopefully. I'm guessing we might have the whole set in here. Uh, we got Glenn, uh, is that Glenn Robinson? Right? Yeah. Glenn Robinson, card 9 of 10. Good lord, I, can, <laughs> I can't believe that, man. That's crazy. Alright, we got David Robinson. Card 8 of 10. So, 8, 9, 10. I'm guessing they're almost they're not completely in order, but we've got eight, nine, ten, and one. We're looking for card two, which is Jordan. He might be towards the back then. Yeah, card number seven. We got Mitch Richmond. And then we got Shaquille O'Neal. Very, very nice card, man. Tiny little white dot there. But it's got the hot pa uh, hot packs logo on it. It's the total old set. Shaquille O'Neal. Might have to grade that one. That one's sweet. We got Hakeem Olajuwon. Card number five. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Yeah, we got the whole set here, guys. This is crazy, man. Uh, Reggie Miller. This is absolutely insane. Oop. Jamal Mashburn. And then... Jerry Stackhouse. What the heck? We got shorted out of the Jordan card. No way. Man, we got screwed there, guys. Uh, I'm glad I picked this up on, on eBay for like, I think it was like $10 or $15. Uh, the Jordan Hot Pack card. Card number two. Um, we got 10 Hot Pack cards, but we got a freaking double. Look at that. Card three. So we got card 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Card number one. And then the last card, which should have been the Jordan. It's freaking card number 10 again. <laughs> I'd be upset about that, but we got the Jordan. Uh, I bought it, like I said, bought it on eBay for like 10, 15 bucks or whatever. Um, but that is crazy. I figured we'd just get the whole set, and uh, we didn't. So <laughs> that's kind of weird, man. That'd be a kick, kick to the pants if you know if you if you didn't already have that Jordan card or whatever. Jason Kidd, um, another Jason Kidd, a couple rookie cards here, we still haven't seen the regular rookie card of um, uh, Garnett, so 
Joe Smith, Stackhouse. I can't I can't believe that though. We got literally I'll show you guys the back. Oops. Card ten, card nine, card eight, card seven, card six, card five, card four, card three, card ten again, and card one. Literally the only card missing was the Michael Jordan. Like, what are the odds of that? That is nuts. Yeah, some intentional BS. <laughs> Like somebody knew they were going to troll someone by doing that. Base cards are equally spread out amongst packs and boxes and cases. Um, mm, oh, man, this was. We got a Grant Hill end to end insert card. That's a pretty cool one. I don't think they intentionally like left out Jordan cards or anything like that. Um, it was just the way the cards were, the manufacturing and putting them in the packs or whatever. It wasn't very good quality control that's for sure it's strange how we got the whole set except for jordan and then we got one double like you think if they all like 10 of them in there it would, you would just simply get the whole set but that's not the way it panned out Loki blaylock eddie johnson okay but strange how some of these packs have like all rookies in it and then other ones have all like face cards in it but very strange oh we got another total o card it's not, it's not one of the hot packs one. It's just a regular insert, but Mitch Richmond. So a 10 card set. We've got one so far. Uh, I get all my boxes pretty much on eBay. It's probably the easiest way to get them. Damon Stoudmire, rookie card. I've already gotten him. Can't believe we haven't got the Garnett yet, though. Uh, Loy Vaught, Ed Pickney. Michael Finlay, Dino Raja, and Jerome Allen. Very sensitive card, so if you can get a card fresh out of the pack and it's pretty mint, it's going to be nice. The, the pack would have been put together at the factory, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, we got a Mashburn Total O, so back-to-back -back packs with Total O cards. That's That's strange. I don't think the Hot Packs Total O cards are worth really all that much more than the regular ones. I think the reason being is every other box you're going to get pretty much the whole set. So it kind of like dilutes the rarity of it because the regular ones, um, they're, they're a little hard to pull. Not like you're going to get the whole set in a box. Carl Malone. Bryant Reeves, rookie card. And we got another Garnett. Not the one we're looking for, but it's another Garnett. Oops, this card stuck to it. It's got a factory line right at the top of it. Other than that, it's looking pretty mint. So I would say mint 9 just because of that factory line. Very nice. Still not even halfway done. I don't think they, did, they took the Jordan out on purpose or anything. It's just luck of the draw, I guess. I don't know. Somebody probably got a pack with two Jordans in it then. Uh, we got Anthony Hardaway end to end. Like I said, I'm not super upset about it because I, I actually bought that card ahead of time because I got a good deal on it. Pulling anybody good here? I'm not seeing any Hall of Famers. It's like cards like that and upside down, upside down, and then it gets to the end of the pack and they're all facing the same way. Glenn Rice, Sean Kemp. Nice. Cool box. I uh, I definitely recommend it with the good rookies in there. Cool inserts. Oh my god, we got a total old Michael Jordan card. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. We got the regular Michael Jordan total O insert card. And it's looking crispy. Maybe just a little bit on that corner, but just barely. Bottom corners are looking really nice. Yeah, that's definitely a mint nine for sure. Definitely. Let's go ahead and get that uh, card saver. So we got the Michael Jordan Total O, which is what I was hoping for out of the box. Um, like I said, I already have the Hot Packs one. So we got him. We got him right there, man. Sweet. Total O Michael Jordan card. Like I said, not super valuable. It's like still pretty affordable. 15, 20 bucks or whatever. Um, his other Total O cards can be pretty expensive. Um, we got a rookie card, Mitch Richmond, K. 
Kenny Smith. We got a Garnett coming up. Still have not hit the Garnett rookie regular one. Nope. It's not. It's not him. And it's not him. <laughs> I don't know where. Where the heck is this Garnett hiding out? Yeah, it's, it really is a nice card. I mean, I just really like it, um, especially with the the O being like a foil, and then you got the gold rings around it. It's just a cool card. Such a nice card. So. I think both of those are going to get nine, um, possible ten. Uh, so pretty excited about adding those to my personal collection because I've never owned that one. So my first time owning that card out of the 200 or whatever Jordans I sold off, I did not have that card. There's a Grant Hill second year card. Rashid Wallace. Is that Sean Raspert? Respect something? It's hard to read these names, like I said, with the foil on there, hitting it with the right light to see it. Uh, modern basketball at Walmart or Target? <clears throat> Good luck. Not very easy to find anything. Horace Grant. Part of the reason is nothing's really been made lately. Um, the, what is it called? The mosaic stuff is hard to find. I found some empty boxes and that was literally it. I must have got there a few hours after they put it out and it all got cleared out. So I have not been able to get any of that or open any of that. Gary Payton at the end there. But I'm not super concerned with it because I think modern basketball is way too overpriced, overhyped, all that stuff. Pretty much because of Zion and, um, Zion and John Morant. But look at what happened in 92 with Shaq, so it's kind of like history repeating itself where you, you could not find the cards at all. Um, everything was sold out in 92, as I recall. And those cards literally all went down to almost nothing and sat pretty stagnant for a lot of years until recently when the cards started to shoot up in price. So if history repeats itself, those cards are going to just fall in value. And, you know... I don't think Zion has a lot to live up to if he's going to really sustain any kind of price point like that. Uh, it, it, there's no inside job. It's there's so It only takes one person to literally see him sitting on the shelf and go, oh, I need to buy all those, and then they're gone. That's it. I mean, it's they don't stock. It's not like there's some endless supply of cards out there. You literally got, like, you know, a person that comes in, stocks the shelves, and then they don't come again for like another week or two weeks or whatever. And they only have so many if they even have any. And they put them out on the shelf and the first person that sees them is probably gonna buy them all. So that's why there's nothing out there. Because people know they can just pop the box on eBay and get two, three times what they paid for it. So you got those people and then people that wanna open them obviously because there's so much value in there right now that's why you can't find anything lots of morning there we go we got the Garnett rookie nice really nice I like this card it's looking very 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 nice maybe like one little line right there but you can barely pick it up and very very nice on the back I would say guaranteed mint 9 possibility of a PSC 10 so very nice. I'm adding all the Garnets and to my collection. We've got a few at uh, PSA right now. So whenever I find one that's nice and gem quality or even mint quality, I definitely send it in. So this one is Pack Fresh. Not sure what the PSA tens are going on this, but pretty undervalued uh, for you know basically a Hall of Famer. And we got Jordan right behind it. I didn't even see <laughs> I'm focusing on Garnett and then there's a Jordan. Uh, people who hunt boxes to flip on eBay. Um, yeah, I guess you could say. Different kind of flipper. I, I met one of them. The guy lives about a half hour from me and that's all he literally does is go out to like a handful of stores. He knows what day they stock. He goes into these stores again and again and again. He literally buys everything up his whole place because I went in there and bought some cards off of him 
This whole place was just cards stacked to the ceiling. Boxes, you know, new product. So he buys the whole entire thing and and then those of us that want the product can't get it. So this is the one I think I had this maybe I only had it in a PSA eight or nine, but this one's looking pretty crispy. This one goes for a few hundred bucks if you can get it in a ten. As I recall, oh, just a tough card, I think, to grade altogether. I, just the tiniest little bit of white that you can barely even see on the corners. Other than that, it's looking pretty gem, so I would say mint nine on that. Pretty much guaranteed. Um, Alrighty, so we got the Jordan card. That's, I'm guessing, possibly the only Jordan you can get out of this set. Because um, I'm guessing his base card's out of Series 1. We'll have to try to pick up some Series 1 boxes. But like I said, these get pretty expensive. This box was, I think, around 100 bucks. I'm happy with it. I think it was worth it. I mean, we already got the Jordan Total O. We got almost the whole set of Total O. We got the Jordan. We got the Kevin Garnett Rookie. Getting a lot of other rookies in here. A lot of Hall of Famers. Cool looking design, I think. Chris Weber. Wonder if he's going to make it into the Hall of Fame. Patrick Ewing. I like how there's like different, like the base cards aren't all the same. There's different like looks to them. Like you got these cards, then you got like this look. Just very, and then you got this look with all the gold foil. And then you got like the. Regular, almost from like the series one. I don't got to go back a few cards like this look here. That's how that's how the base Jordan is. But I think, like I said, I think that's in series one. Uh, the foil insert Jordan, the the um, hot packs one. I think I got it for like fifteen bucks. I thought it was a really good deal. Maybe it was fifteen or twenty. And actually, I'm noticing something here. Uh, if you look at the total O, this one's like a gold, and then this one's like a like a red. Complete the basketball or whatever on the card is actually a different color, so I'm guessing that's just because of the it's from the hot packs. The rest of the card looks exactly the same, but yeah, the, you can see the, the color and the, the difference in the color. Just notice that that's pretty cool. Yeah, Weber should make it. I and I've got a bunch of Weber uh, rookie cards, but haven't I don't think I've graded too many of them. Vladi Divac end to end. There's Luke Longley. Luke. Robert Horry. Seven rings. <laughs> Just doesn't have the stats to get in the Hall of Fame. Clyde Drexler. Will Purdue. Tony Dumas. Oh, almost knocked the camera over there. We got 28 people in here. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button, got a measly three likes on the video. Uh, like I said, this is a $100 box, so. Definitely get one of these if you can. There's a Grant Hill. Let's see if we pull some more rookies here. Grant, Damon Stoudmire, Theo, Glenn Robinson. I think Glenn Robinson was a good college player, but not in the Hall of Fame. The other looks more of a bronze. Yeah, it might, it might even be. I just, I noticed the difference having them next to each other. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't even have noticed. Got Jawan Howard. Hopefully, we get another Garnett because we only got the one. How was the centering on that Garnett? Yeah, that one was good. So you want that Fleer logo to be not so close to the bottom because see how these are like right on the right on the border of the bottom, like completely OC. So I think that one's gonna grade pretty good. Another rookie card. Some of these packs have a lot of rookies in it. There we got the Shaq card again. I like that Shaq. I might end up grading one of these. If I think it's going to get a 10 or probably a 9 at worst. Good morning. It's uh, evening. Oh, you might must be another country. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. It's not morning time. Really nice Shaq. Um, Peter, what's going on? All right, we got about hmm, a little over 25% of the box left here. Ooh, we got a stack house, scrapbook stack, uh, stack house. So this was his rookie year, I believe, right? Stack house. Um, stack house scrapbook card. Scrapbook card number one. These are pretty tough to pull. So not sure on the value on that one. 
We got Rodman right behind it. See it? Another pack where it's all these base cards. So weird how they, there was no, like, randomness to these. You just get a whole pack of them. Are they all numbered, like, the same? 209, 226, 2... They're pretty much scattered on the numbers. 200 to 230, looks like. The PSA 10 of the Jordan is $600. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, some of these cards, they're just, they're tough to get 10s. Eddie Jones, and low on the pop report, and they can go for pretty good money. Jerry Stackhouse, rookie, there we go. Wonder if that has too much value. Keem Olajuwon, Reggie Miller, Mookie Blaylock. So, some of these packs are just stacked. Of, I mean, all rookie cards, <laughs> crazy. And then all, like, Hall of Famers and insert cards. You don't like the design there, Mike? Michael? I think it's unique. Um, Eric Mobley. I think it's cool with the gold foil on there. David Robinson. And the fact that there's different looks to all the different ones. Once a morning, we pulled that one like over and over. And we got another Garnett. Very nice. And a Jordan right behind it. Same pack, man. See what I'm talking about with the, the randomness just wasn't there. So you can see the gloss right on the cards. See how it flashed with the light. You can see like the almost like little bubbles. Because the gloss that was on there. This one is... <laughs> This one's looking freaking good. Definitely a potential P See what the PSA 10 on this Garnett is. Garnett uh, Fleer rookie card, PSA 10. I'd say at least 150 bucks if I had to guess. I mean, any Kevin Garnett rookie card, but I've sent quite a few of his tops rookie cards in. These are generally, when you find them in the aftermarket, they're, you know, chipped up. They've just not kept good. So to get a pack fresh, Good shot at a PSA 10 is not easy. Uh, so every time you get the, the Garnett, you might get the Jordan right behind it, if I had to guess. See that? Just the touch, the tiniest touch of white on that corner. Other than that, in that corner too, on the back. But definitely nines on these. Just looking really, really good. Definitely happy to add another one of these in my collection because I sold my entire Jordan collection which was like over 200 PSA graded cards and I put that money back into the business and done quite well from doing so and now we're able to pull all these cards again fresh out of the boxes so very very nice nine packs left so 25% of the box uh, are the prices of the Jordan cards going to crash? I don't think so. Jordan cards, I don't think, are ever going to crash. I mean, it's like... Uh, he's like the uncontested goat at this point. Like Chris Webber. The best basketball player to play the game. Are his cards going to be worth nothing? I, don't, I think that's pretty... Unless something happens to the hobby where nobody's collecting cards ever again, <laughs> which is highly unlikely, um, they're going to continue to go up in value. I think they definitely went up a little bit too fast to, to really sustain themselves because of that whole documentary. Everybody went crazy, and certain people went out there and bought the cards, not really knowing how markets work. So I think the prices could definitely kind of come down a little bit. Um but they're not gonna they're not gonna crash. Like a nice insert card of his that's worth money is always gonna be worth money because it's rare. How long did it take me to sell the Jordans? So I slowly sold the Jordans off probably over the course of about six months. Um, I think I still have five or six left. A couple of them are um, cards from when he was on the Wizards. But Gary Trent, Damon Stoudmire. Theo, Glenn Robinson, Alan Henderson, and I don't regret selling them because selling them off gave me enough money to really like grow the business to where it's at right now, and I'm getting all these cards back, but now I'm able to open them out of the packs themselves, submit them to PSA myself, and that experience, I think, uh, 
gets you more connected to the cards than just you know buying them already graded or buying them up and grading them or whatever. Because I've I've done all all ends of it. I've done all of it. So there's Akeem of the Dream. A lot of these though are still looking off center on the top to bottom. Okay, that one's not. Because probably within a year I'm gonna have well over 200 Jordan cards. Um, got another shack. That's like our third one. That one's got a little touch on the corner. Um, not only am I gonna have all the cards that I had six months ago, but I'm gonna have multiples of that. I mean, I'm gonna have like my plan is to pretty much collect every Jordan that I can get my hands on. So we got end to end Jason Kidd. So we haven't hit the end to end Jordan. But we might get hit another one. Seems like we get that card and then we get Robin right behind it. Uh, and then this is another one of those packs with all the same base cards. Very strange. But I wonder what the Jordan PSA 10 that looks like that sells for. Uh, when will there be no more boxes? I don't know. When people stop holding on to them, I guess. I don't know if the market will ever... I mean, eventually it gets pretty low. There's another Stackhouse rookie. Followed by Barkley, Olajuwon, Reggie Miller. There's still packs from like the 60s and 70s and stuff like that that are still not open, you know? I think the price just goes up and up and up the more and more rare it becomes. And then eventually people don't want to open it because it's so expensive that if they open it, they're going to lose all their money. Um, and I think when that happens, then people stop kind of stop opening this stuff but as far you know as far as I can tell pretty much everything I've opened is still available still out there people buy it whatever they buy it for if they can sell it for double they'll sell it if you want to open it open it you know got Matumbo let's see if we get another Garnett but if we get another Garnett we're probably gonna get that Jordan again Stackhouse and Rick Fox most valuable and favorite Jordan you've owned? Um, most valuable Jordan I've owned. That's hard to say. It's really hard to say. I had his EX 2001 Skybox card. Just the base one and a PSA 10. I sold it for like 850 And speak of the devil, we got the Jordan end-to-end -end insert card on the last pack. Are you kidding me? On the last pack, we got the end-to-end -end Jordan. That is crazy. Wow, tiny little touch of white in that corner. Um, but other than that, looking really, really mint. I'd say mint nine on that. Unreal, <laughs> unreal, man. End to end Jordan on the last pack. A Jordan raffle uh, when you do the box breaks. I have no idea what you're talking about, but. End to end Michael Jordan to end the video. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I would say it's probably a nine just because of that touch in that corner But other than that it looks perfect So go ahead and sleeve him up out of a 20 card set. And we probably got what? Eight or nine out of the set maybe at most so we got like half of the set not even and we get lucky enough to get the Jordan crazy crazy 33 people in here. Wow, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button. I Don't do any raffles though as far as like giveaways and stuff like that because I don't just don't have the time but other than that I owned Jordan's um, his first um, finest card in a PSA 10 I sold that one and that one shot up pretty substantial in price but the price is starting to come down so Jordan in the end end to end see they flip the cards upside down and you gotta keep doing this <laughs> it's always that same pack too Hershey Hawkins Lucky Blaylock Eddie Johnson, Harold Reeves. All right, let's do a little bit of a recap here. So uh, we got the uh, hot pack <laughs> of total O cards, and we literally got 9 out of 10, and the one that we didn't get was the Jordan, um, which was insane. But really nice Grant Hill, Jamal Mashburn, Reggie Miller, Olajuwon, O'Neal. I might look at grading the O'Neal for my collection. Maybe even the Olajuwon. Just really cool cards. Robinson, uh David Robinson, Glenn Robinson, Stackhouse. We got two Jerry Stackhouse. It's kind of like his rookie card, I guess. 
So I'll have to look into see what the values what the values on the uh, these are. Sorry, I got the hiccups here. Um, uh, prices. Yeah, you can still see the documentary. I watched it on ESPN or whatever. Um, but yeah, if it goes up on Netflix for sure. Uh, we got Jordan's end-to-end -end card in the last pack. That was insane. Uh, we got Jordan's firm foundation card, which is card 323. We got two of those back-to-back -back with the Kevin Garnett rookie card. So we got two of those. We got his other card as well, which we might grade as well. And then Jordan hot packs we didn't get. I actually pulled that or bought that on eBay. But his base total O card we got. It's looking pretty pretty minty. Um, yeah, that same like little blip. I don't know if these guys can see that. There's like a little red. There's a little blip, and you can see it right there. It's almost like a um, a little error, but it's on that one too, which is cut off a little bit more. So, very cool, very nice card. I'm, I'm, I can't be more excited. I think we got everything that we could possibly get. Um, like I said, we got the stack house which was his rookie year. We got two of the total O's of his. We got the Stackhouse insert. Uh, we got the Garnet. This Garnet card, we got a couple of those. So, very, very nice box. I was, you know, I would say eight or nine out of 10 from what we could really expect out of that box. All the cards that we could want. I mean, we got the total O. We did get kind of screwed out of the Hot Packs one, but I'm not really too concerned. Two Garnets, two other Garnets. Two other Jordans and the end end Jordan. Just crazy, crazy opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back here later tonight for another opening. Uh, and then we got some other cool stuff coming. Uh, I got some upper deck uh, golf cards. We're going to be searching for the Tiger Woods rookie card. That's going to be a lot of fun. That should show up tomorrow in the mail. So we might even do that tomorrow. Uh, I still have Com -C, or comic ball cards. And I still have 91 upper deck Um with the Jordan short print card, so, and then we got some other boxes on the way, but probably this week I'll have to look at some more boxes to get here, because we're starting to run thin on the stuff to open, um, is it easy to sell the non-Jordan cards, yeah, it depends on how you sell them, um, cool MJ, thank you, Luis, sorry, I'm gonna read some of the chat here before I end it out, um, Michael said, what are the Garnets worth in this box? I think the Garnet rookies are only worth like five bucks or less. Um, I'm not sure on the PSA 10 prices or PSA 9 prices. You'll have to look them up. But I'm guessing this base rookie is going to be pretty decent. And then this one's pretty cool open card as well. Um, I mean, firm foundation, it's his rookie year. So cool card. Um, not sure on the value, but I mean, they're definitely going to be going up. He's going in the Hall of Fame. So yeah, yeah, Tiger Woods. I'm excited about that. I was surprised those boxes. You can get them for like 50 bucks a box and pull the Upper Deck Tiger Woods rookie card. Um, I'm going to try to put some of those into my collection. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you had a good weekend. We'll be back here tonight for another awesome live stream. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.